Hi, we're going to see the motherboard in detail. Okay, so this is the desktop computer motherboard. Okay, so as you see, we have here the processor. This is the processor. The type of this processor is EMD. Okay, so this is the processor circuit. Okay, we have here some ICs. We have capacitors, okay, and we have some MOSFETs, etc. Okay, so this is the processor, and here we have the North Bridge or the GMCH. Okay, so this is the North Bridge or the GMCH, and here we have the graphic cards. Okay, so this is the graphic cards, so the CPU, the North Bridge. And the graphic cards. And over here we have the ICH or the South Bridge. Okay, so this is the North Bridge here. Okay, this is the North Bridge, is bigger than this North Bridge and South Bridge. Here we have the graphic card. In some motherboards, we find always that the graphic card is integrated. In the North Bridge, okay. So this is the North Bridge, and this is the North Bridge circuit. Always, every chip, I mean the big chips, has a circuit that contains capacitors, ICs, and MOSFETs. Okay, so this is process the processor. This is the capacitor that power the processor. And this is the North Bridge, so this is the capacitor that generates the right power for this chip, the North Bridge, okay? And also the same principle for the South Bridge. We have here capacitors, okay? So the source of power for this chip, okay? And also for the ICH or the South Bridge. This is its circuit. Okay, so I have here also some capacitors that is responsible for the power of any IC or chip. Okay, so here we have the RAM slots. As you see, we have here two RAM slots. Okay, so the random axis memory slot. Okay, so this is. The circuit of the RAM slot. Always we have some MOSFETs and we have capacitors over here. Okay, so for this motherboard, you can add two random axis memories. Okay, so and over here we have some connectors. So we will see this connector and this and this, all this connector. We will discuss all this connector. So this is the IDE connector. So these two connectors, we can use these connectors to connect the HDD, okay, the IDEHDD, okay, on hard disk drive. We can also use it to connect the ODD, okay, the optical disk drive. We have here another connector, okay. So you can here use or connect more than one disk drive okay also more than one optical disk drive okay because always in this kind of computers we find the ODD a normal ODD or normal optical disk drive and the read write disk drive that you can use to burn windows or anything want okay so let's pass now to this so this is the AGP okay this is the AGP slot AGP means advanced graphic part so this part or this slot is used to connect an external graphic card okay so you can use an external graphic card over here okay in order to improve your motherboard, okay. So, for this 
slots or connectors this is the PCI connectors so the PCI connectors always we find in the motherboard more than one slot about the PCI okay so here we have three slots so you can use the slots to connect for example a sound card or a network card okay so this for the graphic card you can connect or add another graphic card of course external graphic card okay and for this the PCI you can use it to connect a sound card or a network card okay so this is the CMOS battery or the CMOS backup battery so always the power that this battery gives to the BIOS and the, to the ICH is 3.3 volts okay 3.3 volts okay so here we have some connectors okay we have some connectors here so this is the a USB connect connector this is the parallel connector okay of course this is the RG45 for the network okay etc so here this is the power connectors so this one is the ATX connector so the power for the motherboard is from here so this is just a jack okay so we connect as you see this is the power like exactly like this one okay so this part gives the power to the motherboard through this connection okay and for this with four pins this power is for the cpu okay as you see here in this picture so we have here four cables so this power is for the cpu always this jack or connector is near to the cpu okay the same here so this is the power for the cpu okay so here we have other ic you see this is an ic this is another okay so this is the computer motherboard in general okay so let's now pass to the next slide so as you see here this is a real motherboard or real central unit okay as you see so we have here the fan so this is the processor so this is the fan for the processor okay this is some rams random access memories okay so this is the cables so this is the power as you see the power for the cpu the four pins okay exactly like here okay this is the power for the cpu okay so the power for the CPU, okay, as you see, and here this is the power, the other connector. So that power the whole motherboard. Okay. So let's pass to another slide. So here this is another kind of motherboard, as you see. So we have here the CPU, as you see, this is the CPU socket so this one is the cpu and this is the socket of the cpu okay and this is the cpu support okay? as you see this is the cpu support so you can use this support to remove or to install the central processing unit okay so central processing unit means the processor so here as you see this is the ram okay this is a ddr4 ram okay because for the ram we have about more than four types but we have the ddr4 this is the advanced ram okay ddr4 so the power of this ram is 1.1 volts okay and we have ddr3 with the power of 1.5 volts okay and 
we have DDR2 its power is 1.8 volt and DDR1 the power is 2.5 volts okay so this is the CPU and this is the CPU socket this is the CPU support that we use to remove or to install the CPU so this is the RAM the RAM slot over here and this is the RAM chip okay? two RAM chip okay so here we have the north bridge so here the north bridge or the graphical is integrated with the north bridge because we have just one chip here and also the ICH is integrated with the north bridge okay because here in this motherboard we have just two big chip we have the processor and we have this chip so this chip contain the north bridge the ICH or the south bridge and the graphical okay so here this is the cpu circuit as you see here so we have capacitors always in every circuit we find capacitors as you see we have here capacitors and capacitors we have coils all these are coils and also these are coils so why we have many coils and many capacitors in the cpu circuit because the cpu has many channels okay many power channel not just one channel no many channel because it require more power here the working principle for the cpu is the SEPS, so the switching more power supply okay so we have here capacitors coils we have also a capacitor coils and we have here mosfets okay we have mosfets as you see we have three mosfets as you see we have three mosfets with one coil with one capacitor so this is one channel and we have three mosfet coil capacitor another channel three mosfet coil capacitor the third channel this is the fourth channel three mosfet coil and capacitor okay so here the same principle so we have coil two capacitor and of course mosfet over here and coil or inductor so the coil means inductor okay the same thing coil or inductor so this is the cpu this is the cpu socket this is the cpu channels or power source okay so here we have the north bridge ich and graphic card all in one chip okay so we have here another component of course and this is the cmos battery as you see here and this is the ram okay the random axis memory so this is the ddr4 ram okay so let's pass to the next slide so here we have another motherboard this is an old motherboard okay this is the cpu socket as you see here we don't have here any cpu so this is the socket of the cpu and this is the cpu socket support that we use to install and to remove the cpu okay so this is the north bridge over here okay this is the north bridge of the gmc hatch so this is the north bridge heatsink okay this is the heatsink that dissipates the heat okay this is the heatsink of the north bridge so the north bridge or the gmc hatch is under this heatsink okay so this is the ram slots as you see here with yellow car okay so this is ram slots okay and this is the capacitors that power this ram slots okay so we have here capacitor of course this is chemical capacitors okay this is mosfet also this is two mosfet okay so the same here this is the cpu socket and this is the capacitors that power the cpu socket okay 
And here, as you see, we have the CMOS battery. As you see, we have here three volts. Okay, three volts. And this connector is for the HDD or hard disk drive. This is IDE connections. Okay. So let's pass to the next slide. Here we have some connectors. This con three connectors is for the speaker mic okay the speaker and mic okay so these three connectors so this is the rg45 okay the rg45 connector so this connector is used for the network services okay so here we have usb connectors also this is a usb connectors why we have here a blue color this blue color means that this USB connectors is a 3.0 type. Okay. Of course, we have other connectors and other ports like HDMI. We have also other kind of USB connector. Uh, 